Alrighty then. Split for old. Uh, this is another episode of Smoking with X. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we are actually filming this episode right now, so there will be a video available for uh, this podcast on YouTube uh, once we release it. But um, yeah, I got my co-host Godfrey in here today. Um, Yo. And then we got a guest in here with us today, uh, one of the Young God Mob members, you know, a uh, member of a rap local rap group called Sweet A. We got uh, Flighty in here. I'm a, I should let you introduce thank yourself, you, thank though. You. I'm going to let you introduce yourself, though. I yeah, didn't. please. You already introduced me hella wrong. How are you going to call me a guest if I'm in the mob? Bro? You're a guest of the podcast. <laughs> guest of the That's true. I'm, yeah. I'm honored to be. Please check me on that. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to say something earlier, but train of thought is long gone. Uh, we here. Hell yeah, bro. Um, so what what um, can you tell the listeners about your music style? Like, how can you describe your music style to the listeners? Damn, already with the tough-ass questions, bro. <laughs> I can describe my music style as a, as a hot pile of garbage that, <laughs> that y'all should listen to just by virtue of being in this collective and support that nah, um <clears throat> shit if we're gonna get really real um let's see um uh, my music style i guess we could start where i first decided that i wanted to actually do music and um that was probably when i was like 14 or so um and yeah i um I was not raised on rap. I was raised on, um, I guess, a pretty diverse little um, music collection was from uh, my dad. Oh, yeah, that always helps. Yeah, so my dad was like a, a fucking sleazebag-ass um, <laughs> actor. Whose dad wasn't. Basically, my whole childhood was like living with all these uh, cool aunties or whatever that I later discovered were actually just yeah, the bitches quit. he was cheating on his girl <laughs> with and getting kicked out of his girl's house and, yeah. Yeah, we all know those dads. No. Uh, yeah, irrelevant, though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now you get me. He raised me on a lot of um, random shit, um, a lot of punk. I was, uh, yeah, Dead Kennedys, fucking mm. Sex Dead Pistols Kennedy. and shit. Um, he had some rap, for sure. He, he had a lot of Eminem, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I never, honestly, I didn't get into that shit until later once I had already discovered better rap. Right. Um, well, not to shade Eminem, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I still fuck with um with the Marshall Mathers LP for sure. And you know, he's a talented lyricist, but um honestly one of the directions I was hoping this conversation would go was um just uh I wanted to talk about like what what defines um being a a, a lyricist, a voice, a speaker, MC, whatever, oh, yeah. no, we whatever can def- the fuck we, you want to call it. We can get onto that, but but what defines that from being just like a clever person cuz any you know, any any fucking asshole can be good with words. You oh, know of course. what I mean? That's yeah. that's why I rap. That's why but I'm here. This that question was more so for the people who don't know who you are. That's why I was just like, <laughs> just so you can get to know them. That's I went way like, too deep. Yeah. Yeah. No, you get, you get, you get. Nah, it's you. I'm not stopping you from what you were talking about. But I was just like letting you know, like we gonna get on to that. Like best believe we gonna talk about that. Before. True. I lost the whole topic. Yeah. No, you yeah, get, yeah. You get, bro. You get. We were talking about just my own musical style, and yeah. naturally I went into Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> let's not. Let's not compare that at all. Um. In a, a more summarizing uh, way of talking. I would say my music style was mostly developed out of um, just political anger and general misanthropy as a fucking kid. Like, um, that's a very good way to describe. Because mm-hmm. if for the people who like don't listen to his shit, he is very lyrical and he be talking about some real shit. And you need to check this motherfucker out, like right, some, on some real shit. Like, yeah, I'll be talking some nerdy, uh, like weirdly specific shit. Um, and yeah, a lot of my um basically when I was a uh, when I was when I was young and fiery and really like actually getting heated up about music. And everybody has that phase, you know, they have um 
they have that age where they really started like getting genuine emotions out of music. Yeah. You know, they have those artists that like really started them on that shit. And for me, that was like underground, East Coast people like LP and Def Jux and. And you know your classics, your fucking like yeah, most deaf tribe. Yeah. Rock him was my favorite. It was hella funny because when I was young, I was hella an old head. To be honest, I was like, I feel you, dog. I was, I was in my high school homeroom class, like you know, lecturing these fucking you know these other kids about you know y'all need to listen to Rock Kim. It sounded like I was fucking sixty years old. And I was still doing the same ass stupid shit as them when we would cut class, but I don't know. I had a, a old ass taste. So how do you um how do you feel about the uh the music scene now? To kind of branch off from what we were just talking about. How do you feel about more okay, when I say the music scene, I mean the You're talking the locally mainstream, or the like mainstream. How do you feel about the mainstream music scene right now? Just in, in general with everybody? Yeah, um, just, just like a... When when we mention mainstream, like, what's popping right now? How do you feel about what's popping? Okay, right yeah. Now? Good, Good question. question. Uh, honestly, like I said, I used to be hella bitter and judgmental about all that shit. And I was very, like, divisive. I was kind of a traitor to my coast in some ways. I was all about uh, East Coast that, old shit. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I've come... So, so far past that shit now, I feel like I was such a such a hater then. It, it, and it takes. And I I cannot stand people who sound like I used to sound. No, I feel you, bro. But it takes it shit. takes growth because then you find out, oh, there's that here. There's lyrical motherfuckers here that are OGs and shit, and just like not even just on the fact that you had to do research on that. It's just like when the older you get, like the more open to shit you realize. I don't know, like. It kind of it kind of touched yeah. bases on that, but in a sense, it's still kind of like you because I see you still kept your way, like you still listen to like lyrical people, but you're more open to who you listen to. Yeah, no, that's a really good point. It has a lot to do, um, not necessarily with the actual talent at the time or whatever who you're listening to, but it takes like it takes growth, it takes open mindedness, and because uh, no, I feel you on that. I was the same fucking way, dude. I was the same way. Like, I was just like, ah, oh, new shit? Nah, that's trash. Y'all need to listen to this. Yeah. It's easy to get stuck in your ways, for sure. Nah. But, yeah, um, I feel like it's such a shitty guess because I divert every question and don't get to it straight away. But you good, bro. In answer to how I feel about um, bro, we're about what's popping right now, I love it, bro. I could not have have more support for most of what's popping right now. I feel you. But, nah, on the fact that you're getting off topic, bro, we're drinking and smoking, so hey, you good. Yeah, it's you the good, point. Bro. Yep. You good. You, you caught me in my mind. element, what can I say? Just don't no. act like how you go out and drink and stuff. This don't fuck anybody's wife. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. By the butt, not getting arrested. No, we can't. Or no, 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 we're going to talk about that. We're going to bring No, we're not. Out. We're not. No, we're not. we're not the actual details of it, but we did have a show, and some motherfucker was just sitting in the crowd, hot as fuck at this motherfucker, just sitting there. Flighty. Just staring at him. I don't what niggas know who I'm talking about? No, right, right no. when he walked in, remember when, no, right when he walked fucking in, fucking, he came up to you, right? Right when you, right when you got there? That was early you. on, yeah. Yeah, I, I still like, did not even recognize him at that point. That yeah. shit, but long story short, niggas was hating. They was <laughs> mad. They were mad. And I mean, yeah, I'm like saying, and they're going to stay hating as long as we stay mobbing on some young guy shit. Young people's bitches. Young guy mob. That shit was fucking hilarious. But nah, um. We approve that. No, nah, you're crazy. <laughs> you're crazy. <laughs> Don't fuck Don't my wife. Don't does not approve of any of these messages or endorse <laughs> any of the opinions. Don't fuck my wife. <laughs> but nah, um, next question is kind of off of a music shit. It's my, uh, a more of a would you rather type shit. So, if yeah, okay. you're trapped on an island... Please don't, don't tell me this is going to be something, something like, would you rather do a feature with my... No, 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 no. If, if you were trapped on an island for, let's say, 20 years, would you rather be trapped with... Uh, well, I don't know if you have a girlfriend or not or someone you're interested in. Would you rather be trapped on the island with someone you're interested in for that 20 years or with your mom? What the fuck? Uh, weird ass shit. Um, it's not. You got to think about it, though, because you can't really see nobody else. Nah, that, honestly, um, I, I, there's no, 
there's nobody in my life really at this moment that's like that person, but I would still take that over my mom. <laughs> like, I love my mom, but I would much rather know that she's safe where the fuck she's at than sure. like be stuck with her on this fucking island. I mean, yeah, I mean, you're already like that's, that's already, already fucked up. If you're, you're, you spend like, a few, yeah. If you if you choose that, then you're basically like condemning whoever you chose to fucking mm. get abducted onto this island with you. Nah, in a sense, but not really. It's just a question. <laughs> it's just a question. <laughs> but and I like and I like his answer. What about you, nigga? Um, yeah. Don't bring me on a podcast if you don't want me to overanalyze <laughs> for show. Um. I mean, I would maybe, I mean, at first I was going to say probably my mom because I've already been, like, spending years and, like, fucking living with her and shit. So I'm used to that and shit. But, yeah, it would be bad having your mom, you know, of course. Um, yeah, just to say my girlfriend. Then, yeah. Y'all niggas, sorry, I'm choosing my mom. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I would, I mean... It's well, like, I'm just like, well, you're, you're responsible for your mom at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but I would much, much rather be with no, someone like see, my age who got, got into that. Listen, shit with think me. about this though. I, think about this. Mama, if you're with your girlfriend, bro, you guys are gonna have sex, and there's no condoms on that shit, and you can't stop. Well, looking at that, no and you're gonna fucking, fucking anything else. We're on an island, bro. But I'm saying, I'm saying, you're on there for 20 years, so there's gonna be food supply, obviously there. Like you're living, like you're there for 20 years. But what I'm saying is. I wouldn't want to, ah, nah, dog. Like, all right. So you're just worried, worried about, about children? children? In a like, sense, because I wouldn't want to raise children on an island. I'm going to spark this J real quick. Hold on. All right, yeah. One more sip. <laughs> God, for mm. you with me? Sure. You guys said that on the ground. We'll use that because it's going to make the vibe. Yeah, you already know. Uh, not to set it back on the table. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, man. All the science is beyond me, dog. <laughs> Me and Gus both are so, uh, so blessed to have, uh, all y'all with the knowledge, like, in our camp, though, to be real. Um, yeah, uh, man. With yeah. marketing and sound engineering and, and whatever else, you know, we're just, we don't know shit. We're just, <laughs> we're just monkeys, just hamsters. We rap when y'all tell us. Rap right now. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> but not, uh. No, it's not even that, bro. You just you guys are talented, and you know, we see that, and we want to help you guys out, dude. And because that's why you're a part of our group, because we fuck with you. You're dope. And like, it's not you. It's not more so rap when we tell you to, because you guys can work on whatever the fuck you want to, and I know you are. Yeah. So it's just like, oh yeah, man. Oh, yeah, we are getting our heads out of our asses uh, together at this point. That's mostly with the help of Willie, though. Mm-hmm. He's about to produce our, uh... Shout out to that bitch ass little, Free Willy. Our little duo EP coming soon. <laughs> hint, hint. And, uh, yeah. That's just gonna be tight, bro. I don't know if y'all knew this, but, uh... Willie is a, is a secret emo. And he's got some, uh... Some samples for us that y'all are, are not gonna be expecting. Right. He be trying to hide... Ooh, thank you for saying that. Yep. Uh, he be trying to hide shit. Well, Alright, bro. Tell, you, tell the people who you really are, man. No. <laughs> tell me who you are. No. It's good, though. I mean, he, he does him. present who he really is. To be like, you know. He is that 99.8%. Ain't still bumpy as braille for good money. That's real. Yeah, that's facts. Bro. Boy, that shit was straight bars. <laughs> oh, my God. The realest shit he ever wrote. For sure. I got to spit that shit one more time. He said, I shine like a lick. I, I was like, I look like a lick. I'm shot. I shine. I'm, shot, not, I'm sunny. not sunny. My face they still, still bumpy as braille. Yeah. Forgive yeah. money. I was like, God damn, boy, like, uh, nigga, damn. I stumbled up as I'm high right now, but that shit, boy, bars. Yeah, bars. Uh, scheme leading up to that was crazy too. He said, "Fucking, I don't know, something about like you gonna need to go fund me, and oh, your yeah, bitch yeah. gonna fund me yeah. in a fresh ass fit while your ass looking bummy." Yep, yeah. so like, boy. Yeah, he went in on that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the one guy. night. That that track's called One Night. and uh, Unreleased. Not released yet. Unreleased, but you know, we might do a music video to that, and that's just going to be... Fire. Should, it's going to be fire. But now, uh, the next uh, kind of topic I wanted to get into you with is... Um, get back on some music shit. Uh, what, what advice could you give somebody 
if they came to you and like, hey man, you know, where what what should I do? Like, how do I get yeah? How do I get started? Like, what what advice would you give somebody like to help them get started? And like, if they're like on a like writer's block for someone who doesn't who's Damn, never bro. really experienced that, like, what can you help them? Like, what advice? That's a great ass question because I'm in no position to give advice to anybody <laughs> as like a I'm as the most amateur type of musician as it comes, but I do have a lot of experience with fucking writer's block and depression and mania and yeah, all the highs and lows that um, that come with being an artist and fucking having a like persona, you know, like uh, I'm mean, insecure as fuck about it most of the time. Sometimes I'm like so how do you get out drunk of that? and manically um, like feeling it and hella confident. Um, but I don't know that that all came like later once I you know I feel like that has more to do with just growth in a sense. Yeah, the world and and growing up and and I'm big shit and and less to do with like the craft. Um, yeah. But when it comes to writing and just feeling like, because outside of all that, it is still easy to feel like a poser a lot of times. Like, who the fuck am I to like act like I should get paid for my fucking words? You know, yeah. like yeah. that's what it's we're like all saying. Audiobook. Basically. I don't know. Damn, well, I'll be spitting some shit, man. <laughs> Y'all, you should not shut up. I'm joking. <laughs> this is for the music, man. This is for the music. But how would you get um, past those um, yeah. those uh, writer's blocks? Like, do you, like, you drink a little, sip a little, snort a little? No, nah, nah, I don't. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, bro. I, you just I walk cheat. Out? Honestly, if, if you're looking for, like, a zen, like, find something, find something that can bring that, like, you. That actually cures that, then I'm, I'm not going to give it to you. I, my writing process is I cop a... A six pack of, of Colt 45 and go to Fremont Park, and I try to keep the shit tucked in uh, in my fucking Back little uh, saddle bag and shit. I still have not gotten an open container tick uh, ticket. Gus has, so I should be learning from him. But if I we know how out and about and crazy this boy is. <laughs> That's the home. I just got this. Hold on, play boy. Are you passing? Nah. <laughs> I didn't even hit it. But yeah, just like people watch and like. That's why quarantine has been has been hard, bro. I like I know should be like taking all this time to just write and but hone when, the fuck out of the craft. But like I feel you, bro, because it's like when you're used to going out and like that helps you write, like being out and about and just breathing fresh air and mm. just seeing people and shit, like yeah. in your environment that helps you write. And being constricted into a house that can definitely fuck some shit up, dude. It's 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 not it's not something easy to break out of. It really isn't. For hundred percent, yeah. Sometimes like the whole day, couple of days. It's been a cool minute. Yeah. Since fucking I've been starting rain again and shit. I've been producing, but. dog. I've been just forcing myself to produce, waking up, trying to get do my push ups and shit again, trying to get back in shape. Fucking Joey, he suggested doing a two hundred uh push up. Mm. Challenge to me, so I've been. I'm gonna try to keep on it. I've been hearing his voice in my head. Like when I wake up, I'm like, all right, nigga, I'm gonna do it. Leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah. Like real shit. Like I'm trying to get back in shape. Shout out to so, homie Joey. Right, Rhythm of Mares. Or did he change his name? Joe Jazo Beats. Jazo Beats. There you go. I think. Yeah. But um, with your music career, what like? What are you basically aiming for? Like, are you, like, trying to help out, like, the, or, like, form or morph the fucking, uh, the rap scene and the hip-hop nowadays and shit? Like, like, I mean, like, you know, I would, like, say, like, I kind of, like, would dedicate my rap career, my, my music career to, like, the hip-hop community and shit because that needs to be fixed in a way. Yeah. But, I mean, again, you know, like, everything is going to be coming up that's new and shit, and it's going to be on the fucking, like, you know mainstream and shit yeah but um for sure basically uh fuck so you're asking about uh my my long term yeah like what, yeah, exactly. so what, what do you want to make a stamp in this shit or not? yeah like, damn the pressure bro <laughs> honestly i'm not gonna lie i was a lot of my mindset artistically is like cross that bridge when i come to it in terms of like 
what, what impact I'm going to make. Mm. Like, like, don't get me wrong, I have hella dreams, dreams, and, you know, I'm opinionated, and I stand for shit, and, you know, I feel I'm right. not in this shit for no reason. Yeah. Right. But, um, and like, but know, I'm an insecure motherfucker, and it's, it's very hard for me to ever, like, you know, publicly, like, admit that I, you know, I think I have uh, opinions that are worth paying for hearing, and, like, that, like, I feel yeah. you. Mm-hmm. All, all that, all that shit, shit all the egotistical shit, shit that comes with being an artist. Being in the uh, limelight and shit. Yeah. 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 But, um, where are we going with this? No, you, you were, no, you were still answering the question, yeah. bro. You were still answering it. Like, you were still the question. Question. Oh, but, um, basically, you know, like, oh, yeah. how's your imprint? How do you want to put your, your, your print into the music scene? Like, in, especially coming out yeah, from Sacramento um, and shit, you know, because... You make a different sound than you know what the mainstream is mainly from Sacramento. And that's just like gangster rapping. And I'm gonna be real. Seventy five percent of the local Sacramento artists are exactly like that. We have our mm. we have like we have the new Sacramento sound. That's what we have. That's what I I categorize yeah. categorize whatever the fuck you say. I'm mm. high right now. Like, categorize. Yeah, yeah, categorize. Right. categorize. No, I feel like I dragged it out. Don't doubt yourself, King. I feel like I dragged it out too long. Now. Categorize, but yeah, that's what I categorize us as. It's just the new Sacramento sound because mm-hmm. if you, if the, for the people who don't listen, who haven't listened to the, like the old Sacramento music, we definitely had a different sound. Yeah, Sacramento sound has always been different, and everywhere else around, they have their their label sound, mm-hmm. but people try to mimic mm-hmm. that. And Sacramento has never really been the place to mimic a sound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's always like again, this is you really, really gotta give us that, bro. City. Like. Nobody, Nobody from, from Sacramento, Sacramento ever just sounds like, like oh, typically, typically Sacramento. Sacramento. Mm-hmm. Like, that it's still has no either, definition. It's, it's either that fucking horrorcore kind of shit from Brother Lynch Hung and his posse. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. still out to here. Don't get me wrong. It can be, it the can be gimmicky and, and it can be one-dimensional, but, but it's we, always some, some different shit. When, we, different when, angle. when I do that, though, when I think about that trope, I'm thinking lyric-based because a lot of motherfuckers that spit some shit be spitting some real shit and some dark shit on the sly way out here. And I can say myself as one of those people. Like I, uh, I, got, I feel like I got the same. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. want the swing. And people be like, like I will get this a lot. People are like, oh, your music, like your your music sounds cool, but like the lyrics are kind of dark. I'm like, well, that's what the shit I was influenced around when I grew up, and that's yeah. what I seen. Yeah. Like and yeah. like when I realized, like listening to the OGs and shit, like how they were spinning, it that I'm seeing damn near the same shit they were seeing, just a different time. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm not saying my lyrics are the same, but it, it can be like somewhat related to that. Yeah. I had like tobacco I mean, in my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I mean, there's a lot of sounds coming out of fucking Sacramento. And yeah. uh, of course, you know, there's always um, out of those sounds, they're mainly just going to be picking out like, you know, like... Uh, Basically, the, like the new the new gen, of course, and the shit. closest to the mainstream. Yeah, basically, close to yeah, close to the mainstream and shit. Like all that shit you see on Tizzler and shit, you know, that's basically what they want right there. So, and I mean, the only person they haven't <laughs> fucking like posted about that's West Coast mainstream. Tizzler yeah, is West Coast. Yeah, mainstream. but we are involved yeah. in it, Sacramento. So, I mean, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. But yeah, everyone seems to go be on that. I mean, some people are. are